Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a quick look at grouping rows and columns and also a nice feature that Excel has called Auto Outline which helps supplement or actually expedite the process of grouping. So let's take a look at both of these in Excel. So what I have here is uh, some planned expenses. You can see January through December plus a total at the end. And here you can see it's just a sum function which gives me the total. And I also have them subtotaled uh, under employee costs, office costs, marketing, training, travel, and then total down at the bottom. So we have totals and subtotals built in within these expenses. So if I wanted to just show a a summary of this. I might want to group them so I can expand or collapse the various sections or the various months to show just the totals. So to do that I would highlight the cells I wanted to group and I would go over to the data tab and you can see in the outline group there is group ungroup subtotal. I can click on the group command and you can see Excel added this grouping over January through December. And if I click the minus sign, it collapses that down, or the plus sign will expand it out. Or I can use the number one and number two buttons here that Excel adds to the outline in order to do the same thing. I can also do it for the rows. I can highlight, say, these two here, click group, highlight the ones for office costs, also for the marketing costs and lastly for the travel and training costs. In addition to that I can also highlight everything from planned expenses all the way down to the totals and I can group those two and you can see Excel has now added a third level here so if I click on the one it gives me just the grand total, two will give me the subtotals and three will expand it all the way out. So if I want to ungroup all this, I'll just highlight the whole data range there, click ungroup, it'll say rows or columns, I'll say OK with rows, and do it again also for columns, and now everything is back to an ungroup fashion. But in addition to that, if I click the down arrow under group, notice Excel has auto outline. And what auto outline does is recognize where you have totals and subtotals within your group and will automatically create grouping and an outline based on that information. So if I click anywhere within my worksheet here, click the down arrow and click auto outline, notice Excel created the same scenario that I just did manually. It added a collapse or an outline in order for me to collapse all the months and in order to collapse any individual section of the rows plus one to collapse all the rows just showing the totals along with the initial header. And to ungroup that, all I need to do is click the down arrow on the ungroup, click clear outline, and that will be removed. Now again, as I mentioned earlier, Excel looks for subtotals within the group to determine where to create that auto outline. So if we go to the second tab here, the only difference is, notice on the first tab I have an empty row between each section. On the second tab, I've eliminated that. Again, clicking anywhere within my worksheet here, I click the down arrow and select auto outline and Excel will still recognize where the subtotals are and put in that outline information. The third tab we have here if you notice has no subtotals it just has the individual sections with uh, even no totals at the bottom. So if I click anywhere in here click the down arrow and select auto outline Excel cannot find any subtotals or totals Therefore, it doesn't know how to create the outline. It doesn't know where the breaks are. So you need to have some semblance of subtotals or totals within your data to allow Excel to create an auto outline. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. 
So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.